Hi this is Preeta and you're watching Dakshin Curry. Today we are going to learn how to make the king of all upmas a simple rava upma. Stay tuned. Let's quickly take a screenshot of the ingredients needed to make this recipe so that whenever you're in the mood to make it the list is right in front of you. So the first step to making rava upma is roasting. So I have a pan here and I'll quickly add rava in this. and we are going to dry roast this on a medium flame till it changes a little bit color and also becomes more free flowing so it's been around 3 to 4 minutes and at the same time you can see it's become more free flowing at this stage i'm going to switch off the flame and keep it aside to cool and move to the next step so let's start making the upma i'm using sesame seed oil and along with this i'm also going to add little bit ghee Now in this we'll add mustard seeds and we'll allow it to crackle. So the mustard seeds are starting to crackle. At this stage I'm going to add chana dal. We'll brown this a little. Midway I'm also going to add urad dal and we'll cook till both the dals are pale brown. So the dals have turned pinkish brown at this stage. In goes some ginger. green chilies some coriander stem and now curry leaves and along with that finely chopped onions and now we are going to cook this now while doing this you can also add a little bit of heeing dissolved in water i'm going to add it in two stages one now and one later So you can see that the onions have turned soft at this stage. I'm going to add water. I'm going to add very little sugar. Salt. And I'm going to add the remaining heeing which is dissolved in water. We'll give this a mix and we are going to allow this to come to a vigorous boil. So as you can see the water has come to a nice vigorous boil at this stage I'm going to reduce the flame and quickly add the rava and keep stirring so that no lumps are formed and now we'll cover and cook this for around 5 minutes so it's been around 5 to 7 minutes cooking on a low flame and it looks ready and I'm going to add two additional ingredients to this a little bit more ghee and some coriander leaves give this a quick mix and that's about it the rava upma is ready to serve it's a super simple recipe and very quick to make i want you to make this recipe and get back to me with your feedback if you have liked watching this video do click on the like share and subscribe button